the oh, hole. They also use the hammer. Yeah, so it's not going to anywhere. You don't even think about your own uh, soul. You don't think about where you are going. We are talking about animals. You are a hard man. You hate animals? Where is your justification? You don't need to. You know you don't need to. Uh, Ask him. I know, but... <laughs> Did you watch your sheep? Yeah. Did they suffer when they got their throat slashed? Yeah. It's haram to eat animals that have suffered, and you still eat them. Is this the way they kill the animals in here in England? Yeah. Yeah, where are you from? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Muslim? Yeah. Okay. Are you both from Saudi Arabia? No, I'm no, from Kuwait. Kuwait. I'm Kuwait. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's Haram, isn't it? Yeah. It's Haram. Why did they use the electric? That just uh, stuns them first because when you slice the throat of an animal while they're fully conscious, they suffer for up to a minute before dying. Yeah. The RSPCA actually did a study on this, which is why they don't certify halal meat anymore because of uh, the suffering that the animals go through while they're trying to breathe through the oh. hole. They also use the hammer. Why is that legal, by the way? I'm not sure that the bashing of the sheep is technically allowed anymore. Like, I'm not sure. Sometimes they use blunt instruments, but technically they use an electric or a, a bolt gun or a gas chamber. Gun. Bolt gun. It shoots a rod, comes out and goes back in. It's a yeah, percussion. I know, I know. Yeah, so it makes them unconscious, yeah. then they cut. I think this is wrong. Yeah. I think animals deserve more mercy than mercy. Me. Yeah. And compassion, respect. I know that you want to eat it, it's okay, but not in this way. But what if they, we... They have feeling. They have feelings yeah. and, and they're, you know, like you experience vision, feelings, thoughts. Animals do as well. Maybe not the same, but they do. Yeah. And it matters yeah. to them. Their life matters to them. That's why they don't want to die. That's why you have to tie their feet when yeah. you cut their throat. Yeah. That's why they are afraid. If they were meant to be food, why do they want to survive so much? Because they have. Why don't they come willingly? Why did God create animals to be scared? They don't want to be eaten. Can I ask you a question? What's up? The God he created the animals. You have to kill me here, tear the blood out, and to be eaten. It's allowed. Cut me here, tear the blood out, and eat. I'm trying to talk to three people, but I can also entertain you as well. What's that? Adrian, where is their soul going? Where is it going? Their soul, where is it going? Their soul? Yeah. I don't know, I don't have evidence for a soul. What I don't... about your soul? Where is it, where I don't, are you going? I don't know if I have a soul. Do I? Oh, God gave us your dominion over, Which God? Over, over, fish, over fish. Dominion doesn't mean cause suffering and slaughter. You are telling God, you are... Which God? Which, which Christian? Are you Christian? Don't speak my mouth. Don't speak my mouth. Are you Christian? I will return it to you. Are you Muslim? I am a Christian. Christian? But what okay. I'm trying to say is that, you know, God gave you dominion to hit the fish. Out so we can about. torture animals? That's why it's not going to anywhere. You better look after the... Can we torture like animals? Can we torture animals? Can I what? Is it okay to torture animals if we have dominion? Which torture? You know torture cause oh, suffering. Yeah. What kind of suffering? Can we cause them suffering if they we have dominion? What about the woman being like no, 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 no. I'm just so talking that about have, uh, that can speak like you is, that's going through a lot you know, on the street. Is suffering bad? After that. Well what about the animal that God gave you dominion to eat and to you know whatever you say? To treat how you want? So it's not going to anywhere. You don't even think about your own uh, soul. You don't think about where you are going. We are talking about animals. You are a hard man. Do you hate animals? What do you do? You agree with her? She was saying that God gave us dominion over animals. Do you think dominion means we can do this to them? No. Why not? God is all loving, the most loving. Yeah, yeah. He's mercy with us. Why are not mercy with those uh, animals? We have the power. They don't have any power. So we have power over them. Yeah. Right? We are abusing our power over them. They are too weak. They can't. They can't defend themselves. Yeah. And we know that the God tell us that we should treat the animals with mercy. Every life, every life's matter. We couldn't harm anyone because like the karma, you know the karma? Yeah. It's work even with the animals. Yeah. There is a woman in our religion, Prophet Muhammad says, she didn't let the cat eat and she died, the yeah. cat. And she go to the hell, the yeah. woman. That's only because what she did to the cat. Yeah. What do you think about those people who kill thousands of animals all the day? Well, I'm, this way. When you think of halal certification, right? You can never trust what's behind the label. Yeah. You're putting your trust in who? Industry. Time. Do you buy your meat? Here? 
Uh, I don't need any, any... Saudi Arabia or Kuwait? Yeah, Saudi okay. Arabia, because there is a special braces for the animals and the way they killed. So the government uh, know everything happening there. There's cameras, there's everything. There's cameras in slaughterhouses in the UK too called CCTV cameras. Yeah. Doesn't matter. They don't release that to the public. Do you get to watch? If you want now, yeah. you can watch live on yeah. cameras in, in Saudi yeah, Arabia? Yeah, I bring my sheep. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I ask. Uh, you take, okay. Yeah. So you don't eat milk or eggs or fish? Or, yeah, sorry. we eat. Okay. But so, in here we don't. Okay. Because we don't trust. What do you do here? Only vegetables. Vegan? Yeah. Do you eat milk here? No. Eggs here? No. No fish? Oh, you're vegan here? Yeah. yeah. Vegan? Yeah, because we know what's happening here. And we don't trust the restaurants okay. there, even with both halal. Because yeah. we know there's... Yeah, because here, they factory farm the chickens in these big sheds. They take them to the halal slaughterhouse, which is just a production line. It's a big factory. And then they put halal stamp. Is this halal? But uh, they should cut the... Uh, yeah, some are stunned, some are non-stunned halal. But in the farm, factory farm, they're suffering. Yeah. Then they go to the slaughterhouse, halal slaughter, halal label. This is haram. I think it's around. They're causing animal suffering. You're not supposed to yeah. cause animal suffering. Now, one step further, right? There's no halal guidelines for fish, eggs, or milk. Yeah. These guidelines were written before there was this population, before there was factories, before everyone wanted milk and eggs. Yeah, it's a business now. It wasn't like a business, it was no. for a life. We it need was to when eat. you needed to. Yeah. So when you- but Right now, they made it like it's business. So when you do this unjustly, if you take an animal's life unjustly, you will be judged. Yeah, true? Yeah. Even a sparrow. Where is our justification, even in Saudi Arabia? to slash an animal's throat to eat them. You know you can be vegan. Yeah, I know, I know. So where is your justification? You don't need to. You know you don't need to. I know. But I think it's better than killing them with the electric or rubber. Back then, this was all they had. Sh sharp knife, don't let them see each other, uh, pray to Allah. That's all they had. Yeah. They didn't have bolt guns to put them out quick. True? Yeah. Because if there was a better way, Prophet Muhammad would there's a better way. Yeah. Now, in this day and age, there is a better way. Yeah. Vegan. Yeah. That is the most compassionate. Uh, com I know, but... <laughs> it's permissible. It, it's, it's possible to be vegan, but it's, it's too hard for some people who used to eat meat and chicken. Habits. Yeah. Habit. But you won't say, oh, you know, I'm Muslim now, but it's too hard for me to stop drinking alcohol. Yeah. It's haram. It's haram. Yeah. But what it's I not haram to eat. Uh... I'm saying fish, eggs and milk are all haram. Because we know fish feel pain. But I mean it's haram in this way. If it's no, a normal way, there's no so guideline. Are fishing and there's, there's no fish. guideline. There's no halal slaughter for fish. No, if you take the fish from the water, you not put it in a farm and treat it like the business. Well, they scoop them up in a big net and they drop them on a boat and they suffer to death. So, yeah, I know this way is not a good way. No, no, even mean, in if you go by by yourself fishing or buy the fish from local fishman, you know, but they, you trust. The, the fish suffer when they dragged out the ocean. It suffer always. Why isn't fish haram? Because you need when, to eat it. No, 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 okay. How, why do you need to? The protein and the vitamins and its type of food. So if you needed to, then it would be justified. But you don't need to. I don't eat fish. Not for 10 years. Yeah. And I get protein. You can choose. Let, let me do it. I get protein. Yeah. 10 years vegan. I get minerals, vitamins, anything I need. Yeah? Yeah. No killing fish. But that doesn't mean you can't eat meat. We have fish. You should trade the animals better, but that doesn't mean you can't eat it. If you want to eat this animal, it's okay, but don't kill it in this way. But they are being killed in a horrible way. Yeah, this is horrible. But so when you buy fish, they come from a fishing boat. Yeah. And they all suffer. What is more halal? Eating fish or not eating fish? Both. Yeah, but one's suffering and one is not. But you are suffering right now. No, no. You are suffering. Not like the fish suffer. Yeah, not like the fish, but everyone suffer. No, no, no. No, this no. is the life. No, brother, there's but... strict guidelines in Islam. Yeah. There's strict guidelines on killing cows, on killing land, yeah. and I'm... you can't cause animals suffering unjustly. True? Yeah, true. Okay, now fish are being but you caused... you can eat them. But it's haram to eat animals that have suffered. Yeah, I know, that's what's important. Cause suffering. Yeah. yeah. Don't let them suffer. But they do suffer. I know. They do suffer, I and know. you still eat them. I still eat them, but... Uh, I need to. Not, not in here, because I know it's suffering here. But you don't uh, need my to. My back country, I know the way they kill the animal. Did you watch your sheep? Yeah. Okay, did they suffer when they got their throat slashed? Yeah.
but not with like this. They suffered though, didn't they? Everyone will suffer. Did your sheep want to die? No. Do you want to die? No one wants to so die. So if your sheep didn't want to die, what's the most merciful? Cutting their throat when you don't need to? Yeah. Or letting them live? What's the most merciful? Letting them live. So why aren't you being the most merciful? Maybe because we want to eat them. If I had a lamb, yeah. I would look after them and I would never kill them. Only if they got so sick that they could no longer live and I was doing them mercy. What do you think this is mercy? It's the right thing to do, leaving... If they can't Who be... Who told helped, you this is right? Because it's mercy. How do you know this is mercy? Maybe the sheep don't want to die. No, no, they... If you are sick, do you want to die? If it's so bad yeah. that I cannot be saved, yeah. and all I'm going to do is suffer so... Yeah. I would want you to... Yes. If you're suffering really, really, really badly, and it's going to be prolonged for the next year, and you know you're going to die, it's not merciful to, to help you die. Maybe you will... No, 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 if no, you do know. No, brother, you if you do know. I'm just saying if you do know. Hmm? It's better to die then. No. You want to go through that? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I wouldn't I wouldn't do it for you then. Yeah, you can make this decision because you have a brain. But, you but you're talk. not talking... My brother, Why what's your name? You Abdullah. So, Abdullah, you're talking about to eat them. Yeah. I'm talking about to help them. What you're doing is not helping them. <laughs> and what are you doing? You're it's criticizing me to help them when yeah, I'm helping this them. This is not helping. Yes, it is. Yeah, you killed her. No, you no. Killed the, when your dog, animal. so when your dog is really, really, really sick, yeah, and you take him to the vet, yeah, and they say they are suffering really badly. We cannot help them. The most ethical, humane, uh, compassionate thing we can do is to give them injections so they go to sleep. Would you not do it? Would you can you keep them alive and yeah. suffering? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think because that's wrong. I don't know that future. That's not merciful. Maybe, maybe they will will getting better in future. No. Even if they won't? Yeah. Even Did if you they ask them? They, they don't know, but Did you ask they, them? the dogs don't know, but they, Yeah, they, they, the dogs they don't know. know. So what what makes you take the decision and they don't know? Because I would do it for my own child. So it's way different. I wouldn't cut their head off and eat them because I wanted a sandwich. But you will kill them. Both you, are killing. It's, it's mercy. No. no you said different. it's mercy and I said one's is, murder. Both of them are murder. One is against their will, the other is for their mercy. It's different. Every every way is against their will. No, it's they not. didn't choose to die. No. Have you ever had a family that family member that's terminally ill? No. They want to die. It's horrible. Every second of existence is horrible for them. There's no helping them. So the most merciful thing is to do what you're doing now yeah. and be a vegan. It's always halal, unless there's alcohol in some dessert, but you can check. It's always halal. You can don't have to go trusting some business that's making money off slaughtering animals, yeah. which I don't even know if that's haram. It's weird now, because it's all factories and I don't know. Why aren't you a vegan? That's, it's, it's compatible with your religion. If you, you believe God is watching, you have a choice every day to be the most compassionate. Yeah, I know. And every time you don't make that, you know you're going to I ask God to be better than this, but I'm telling you, this is what's happened. It's How do you know God isn't used, speaking through me? Well, I told you, I get used to this. So it's hard it's not to an change. Excuse. You can but change because you do it here. You don't trust halal labels here. You already do it. So don't tell me you can't. Yeah, I can't do it for a month of 10 days, but not for all my life only you know the truth yeah you saying it's yeah, too hard I, I told you that i don't believe you you know inside your heart if you can do it i think you can i can do it for 10 years how old are you i'm 23 23 when i was 23 i had no education i went vegan three years later at 26 i've been vegan ever since i'm 36 now if i can do it you can do it are you educated yeah you're educated i was uneducated so if i can be more merciful why can't you i'm not even a muslim my conscience guides me, that's wrong. Where's yours? God gave it to you, use it. Bless you, brother.